Coming up, I'm gonna go over the Savati Jakari medium pack, so stick around. Hi, I'm the OCD Hunter, bringing you tips, tricks, DIY hacks, and other useful ways that my OCD can help make your life a little bit more simpler. I finally decided to switch up my hunting pack, which I've had for a long time, but there's just certain things that I don't like about it. And in my research, I found this website, lamnia.com, and on it, I found this Savato Jakari medium pack. Now, this particular line carries four different packs, a small, medium, large, and extra large. This is the second to smallest size. So after deciding which pack I was interested in, I contacted them and told them that I was interested in the pack. I asked them if they would send me one, and they said they would, and they asked me if I wanted to review a couple of their knives. So as a result, I got this pack and two knives sent to me. Now I'll do the video on the knives later, but right now we're gonna review this Sambato Jakari medium pack. The Jakari Medium is based on the Sabato's famous Finnish Light Border Patrol Pack, which is a day pack developed in the late 90s for their border troops. The dimensions are approximately 22 inches high, 10 and a half inches wide, and 8 inches deep, with a max volume of about 30 liters, and weighs roughly a little under 4.5 pounds. The large main compartment is covered by a tightly shaped flap and waterproof draw cord collar. The flap is a floating lid and it can be raised from the lid if you need to overpack the pack. Or carry a large bundle on top. Inside the flap, there's a zipper pouch. Not huge, but it's big enough for some personal items. One of the biggest differences between this pack and from most bucket pouch packs is the fact that the main compartment is also accessible from the side through a long zipper. The zipper has two pullers so you can open it from any point. Inside against the back is a pocket holding the composite removable back support plate. And in front of that is a hydration bladder pouch. There are two options on top of the pack that you can run the hydration tube through. Moving to the outside of the pack, both sides have close fitting pockets on the bottom with drain holes for seating and securing many different accessories. I was able to fit a Nalgene bottle and a 36 ounce Yeti Rambler in its pockets. These pockets, along with the compression straps on the side, are also good to help secure items like my small forest axe, my buck saw, and several different firearms, like my Midway 410, my Ruger 1022, my Mossberg 500 shotgun, and my favorite, my Winchester XPR 6.5 Creedmoor. These side compression straps can also compress the pack when it's not full, and come with a quick release buckle. The buckles are made from a hard plastic and the material is 1000D Cordura fabric. Looking on their website, you can find a torture chest video where they put the pack through its paces. Also, the sides and the back are equipped with PALS webbing. On the bottom, there are attachment points for utility straps, which is an excellent place 
to lash, a sleeping mat, or bag. Or in my old pack, this is where I kept my field dressing tool roll. There are also two webbing loops for securing longer items like shovels, picks, or hatchets to the back. The straps that close the top of the lid also run all the way around the bottom of the pack, and this helps compress the pack from all sides. The shoulder straps have attachment loops for gear such as the hydration tube, and is equipped with a removable and adjustable sternum strap. The hip belt is simple but functional, with side release buckles. The belt has attachment points for small gear and can be stuffed behind the pack padding when not in use. The pack has padding for the lower back and the padding along the back has a breathable channel down it to help you keep cool. The bag also features a strong carrying handle at the top. The pack comes in four colors, black, camo, coyote, and this green. For me to sum up this pack is simple, comfortable, modular, and rugged. The simplicity of this packet and not having a lot of small organizational pockets makes it easy for me to find my stuff quickly. The slim profile makes it easy to maneuver in the woods and not get hung up because it follows my body as I walk through. And even though this pack has a lot of Molly Pals webbing all the way around the pack, it doesn't look overly tactical. And with a few modifications, you can make it even look more like a traditional bushcraft pack than being overly tactical. But with all this Pals Molly webbing, it gives you the ability to make it so modular that you can create so many different designs with this pack that you can transfer it to whatever your use is gonna be for that day in the woods. Well, there you have it. My thoughts and review on the Savada Jakara Medium Pack. I hope that my continual painstaking practice of changing, fixing, and improving on ideas will help you out in your endeavors. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Click that bell down next to the subscribe button to get notified of new videos. And as always, comments are always welcome.